Hi everyone, my name is Peter. Thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound. A few weeks ago, I had my friend Austin over here, and um, Austin's someone that I've mentored on keyboard, and he was wanting me to kind of walk him through something that he had heard and something that he really liked, and he didn't understand why it sounded the way it did and how he could play it uh, for himself. And over the course of our uh, playing and, and talking through it, one of the things that he said was that out of all the songs that he's learned, and he's, he's really good and he, he knows what he's doing, um, but out of all the songs that he's learned, he knows a lot of riffs, he knows a lot of chord progressions, but he doesn't always understand what he's playing, why it sounds good, and how he can transfer what he really likes and play it in a different song. For example, he might play a song that has uh, this riff in it. Okay, or he might be playing a, a song with a chord progression like this. And he knows that he likes it, he knows that it sounds good, but he doesn't, and he knows how to play it, but he doesn't know why it sounds the way it does or how he can make that transference to a different song with that same thing. And so what we talked about, um, basically it comes down to understanding a music in terms of numbers. Okay, and specifically giving numbers to different notes of the scale. So for example, if we take this riff, knowing that we're in the key of C major for this song and knowing that the, the C major scale is this, I can assign a number to each note of the scale and know that when I'm playing a G in a riff, I'm not just playing a G, I'm playing the fifth note of the scale. Then I'm playing the, fifth, the first note of the scale, and then the second note, and then the fourth, and the third, and then ending with the sixth note of the scale. And then taking that one step further, when I play that sixth note, why does it sound good in that situation? And then begin to understand, well, we're playing the five chord for the other things. And then when we land on the four chord, the sixth note of the scale is part of that four chord. Okay, no, I'm not trying to necessarily walk you through step by step and help you understand it right now. What I'm trying to do is help set you up for some other things that are coming and um, to help you know uh, just what we're going to do to get there. Okay, so... Um, also with the chord progression okay so we're starting off still in C major we're playing this the chord that's based off the first note of the scale so C major and then I'm playing a C 13 and so now I'm playing a, a note that's outside of the chord and what what function does that have and, and why does this set up the, the F chord so well and then I'm playing a minor version of that F chord and, and why does that work and um, so just understanding why that, that A flat in there makes it sound the way it, it does. Uh, and just beginning to think of it like that. And so what I want to do over the course of these next few videos is kind of walk you through the steps to, to help you make those, um, those connections and understand those things. And it really comes down to really intimately understanding what's in a scale and what, how different notes sound within the scale. Now, when I'm talking about scales, I'm not talking about sitting down at a piano and playing scale exercises and really getting into the fingerings and all that stuff. It doesn't necessarily take all of that. Um, what I'm talking about is understanding and really knowing what notes are in the scale, figuring them out the right way, and um, going from there. So if you can understand scales, and they're not that complicated, but if you can understand them, it's going to unlock so many musical connections for you. So I want to help you do that and kind of just kind of empower you to understand uh, what sounds good to you and how you can continue to build on that. So that's gonna be coming out in the course of the next few videos. And as I was talking with Austin, the other thing that, that I kept wanting to say, and I, I kinda of held back a little bit, but I kept wanting to say like, the answers to all your questions are in that course that I've been wanting you to go through, because I gave him access to Fluent Piano. I'm not sure he's gone through it quite yet. Um, so maybe this will, this video will be enough to kind of shame him into it, I don't know. Um, but Fluent Piano is, is a course that I put together that not only takes you through all 12 major scales, but it really helps you understand how different notes within the scales function and how they sound. And so you can really begin to make some of those connections for yourself. Um, if you go to ourworshipsound.com slash Fluent Piano, um, you can see what's available there, and you can try out the first two sessions for free. And um, so that's always available for you. But I want you to let you know and just kind of whet your appetite for these next few videos that are going to be coming um, to help us understand scales and build from there. We're going to talk about how to put scales together. We're going to talk about how to understand songs that are in minor keys. And then finally, we'll kind of just take that last step to, to really analyze, you know, how do you analyze a song and then how do you make those connections to other songs and put things in there so um that's what's what's coming up so 
Um, we'll lead into that. And thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you soon.